All right, ladies and gentlemen, will you welcome from Minneapolis, Minnesota, home of Hubert H. Humphrey, the replacements, and the 0-1 Minnesota Vikings, the North Star Roller Girls Supernovas. Wearing number seven, Mickey Dismantle. Wearing number eight, Coma, Coma, Coma Chameleon. Wearing number 13, Medusa. Wearing number 16, Roller Vixen. Wearing number 40, it's Crust Almighty. Wearing number 48, Kzilla. With number 67, it's Camel Tony. Number 81 is Joanna Beatdown. Number 86, it's Jawbreaker. Wearing number 99, Ida Killed Her. Number 111 is Aurora Horialis. Wearing number 513, it's Terra Bitch Apart. Number 824 is Stalker Shannon. And wearing number 1300 for the North Star Roller Girl Supernovas, Katarina Head, your North Star Roller Girls. All right, folks, from Madison, Wisconsin, number three in the region, number one in your hearts, your Dairyland Doll. Skating tonight, number two, Sugar Lumps. Number three, Twisted Halo. Number four, Mouse. Number 11, Thunder Kitten. 13, Ace S. Wild. Number 14, Darling Nikki. Number 21 is Ninja. 27, Wild Berry Punch. 33, Charlie Hustle. 77, Stink Girl. 99 Jewels of Denial! 311 Chop Susie! 16, 18 Goldie Mean! 1, 8, 5, 3 Vicious Van Gogh! These are your Dairyland Dolls. All right, we are here for yet another game at the North Central Regional Tournament. My name is Dump Truck, and I am joined by... I'm Bob Noxious. No, you're not. It's Wait, not, yeah, you are. I am. Dump Truck, I tell you, man, uh, it's been a long time since we've seen each other, and it's been an even longer time since we've worked together, and maybe the first time since the infamous very first streaming cast the of, Four Corner Feud. of the Four Corner Feud. <laughs> Ah, well, it's a pleasure, and I'm sure they probably made sure we were apart by design, and we'll show you exactly why. <laughs> Number 13, Medusa, jamming for Northstar, gets through. She's already got lead jammer status. Yeah, and we have uh, number 14, Darling Nikki, who came off the line. Minnesota running a very slow pack to start with. Darling Nikki kind of plowing into the back of it there. Not levied with a with a back blocking foul but at the same time she is fighting a staunch defense up front here she really is you got Tara bitch apart up there and also looking for the number not seeing it but the pivot for North Star doing a great job a two woman team holding back the jammer from Madison that is not something easily done well you know what I, I think that might be is that drawbreaker we got out there More yep, number yeah. 86 that's that's a number we shouldn't forget. 
and we already apologized. <laughs> That's going to be the end of that jam. And, you know, it, it's, it's weird, Dump Truck, because I, I watch, it's one jam, okay? But as somebody who knows both of these teams pretty well and has, you know, had the opportunity to actually be around and work with some of these girls uh, from Madison, I'm looking at this and I'm going, that was kind of a frightening start. Yeah. I didn't expect that. No, definitely. I don't think anyone really expected that. Matt Rollins uh, had a pretty good year this year. and They're the top three seeds for this tournament. We kind of expected them to come out of the gates a little quick. But right now, North Star's doing a good job. Jawbreaker jamming for North Star. She just finished pivoting. Yeah. I have well, a feeling we're going to see her everywhere. Yeah, and I tell you, Jawbreaker is one of my... There, there's those players that just make you... They just make you blush when you stand there. <laughs> she's, just, she's just one of those. She's an amazing athlete. She gets to the practice. She will not be lead jammer due to a minor forearm. And Sugar Lumps is jamming for the Mad Roland Dolls, trying to get to the pack. And again, they're doing a nice job of sealing that up. Right there, they actually, and that's not easy either. They move Jules over right in, right into Sugar Lumps. Sugar Lumps coming off her first season, um, and I believe having just set uh, rookie records for scoring after Jukebox's departure. Wow. Looks like Vicious Van Gogo out there playing some really good defense, holding back Jawbreaker, who is now going to the box. And very early in this game, this has turned into a power jam. And Mad Roland Dolls just now got lead jammer status as well. That You couldn't get any better at this moment. Well, and you got to hope that they capitalize on it. You certainly don't let they should. Uh, yeah, look at this. Madison doing a nice job. They've trapped. Uh, and at this point, they've got Sugar Lumps. Oh, Sugar Lumps makes a decision to go to the inside. Um... It's always tempting to go outside. That was one of the few times that that might have actually worked. But a uh, nice job of them closing up the gap in that wall right in time. Matt Roland is picking up a grand slam. If you're wondering why Jawbreaker's in the box, it is for a multiplayer block. New hand signals, make sure you learn them. Yeah, it, it'll, it'll help exactly. your life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That and, and sitting on a riser 15 feet in the air. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sugar Lumps going to the outside, looking to cut back to the end, but that's going to be the end of that jam. And, you know, I'd actually say that if, you you know, as a roller derby fan, anybody that is tuned in, if you love sitting in the, you know, I mean, I understand the thrill of being down on the floor and sitting down in the crash zone dump truck, but you and I both know that the best way to learn this game is to actually sit up in the upper part of the bleachers and go, oh, my God, that's oh, how that progresses. That makes sense. <laughs> I'll never forget uh, having to step out of the DJ booth at practices when I learned how to announce. And the week of our first bout, finding out I was going to be on the floor. <laughs> I went down like, there with your practice. To say? And we're like, oh my God, how do you call this? And uh, you, you immediately understand the ref situation. Oh, yeah. It's a lot of pressure. It comes at you really quick. It's really nice to be up here in an elevated position. Bruce City doing a great job organizing this tournament. And Mouse doing a great job alongside her Mad Roland Dolls, as she now is Lee Jammer. Mouse, one of the uh, probably uh, one of about five or six original Mad Roland Dolls still on skates. And she's going to get pushed to the outside by Stocker Channing. And right now they're doing a really nice job of, of making sure that she is not going to find an easy way around. And the dolls, right, chop to do a little knee slide and dump truck. They're going to, looks like they're trying to work the engagement zone, but uh, everything closes back up. I tell you, North Star, I, first time I've ever seen them skate is just now. And it, their defense is extremely impressive. They really have that together. It looks like oh. they've been focusing on that part of their game quite a bit. And there we see Jawbreaker sent off once again. That's already two seats. Remember now, they only get seven down. Yep. It's a lot easier to remember than the combinations of... <laughs> <laughs> Not going there. The 25 or 6 to 4 rule. <laughs> <laughs> Mouse comes to the back of the pack, going to the outside, passing right by her Mad Roland Dolls, holding the back. She gets through. That is going to be a grand slam for the Mad Roland Dolls. Absolutely. As the shoveler, one of my favorite names <laughs> out there. He's giving us the slow raise the roof sign. Yeah, he's like, holler at your boy. <laughs> <laughs> there it goes again. Mad Roland Dolls' first jam was a little off, but it looks like they're back up. They're in a pace. Yeah, right now the penalty is absolutely killing 
the North Stars. And these two teams have met each other. I mean, these are two teams that are familiar with each other. And North Stars playing at a level at this point that um, I have not seen them come close to eclipsing before. It doesn't surprise me, but um, certainly not not what we saw from them the last one or the last time or two that they played. Well, whenever you're a league like uh, Madison and you have a league like North Star that play each other pretty frequently, North Star is gonna get better. In turn, so will Madison. So it's really great when you have a hot pocket of roller derby leagues that are willing to see each other more than once. This is the third time they've seen each other this year. Yeah, it's. Uh yeah, they're going to learn each other. And, of course, the other thing we have to remember is that the North Stars are really kind of at that point where you uh, kind of, uh, you, you know what, or get off the pot. Yeah. And and they decided to, you know what. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. Tell me more. <laughs> Jules of Denial in the lead jammer position for the Mad Rolling Dolls. Jules, another original Mad Rolling Doll. And very good at charades, by the way, if you have not been to uh, one of the after-party charade sessions, then it would behoove you to hang out around the girls that go moo. You said behooves. <laughs> and you threw did. a moo to it. Ah, you know, it's, it's you what, really are good. It's what I do. It's what I do. It's what I do. I'm done. I'm putting the mic down. Ah, <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> it looks like we picked up a grand slam on that last pass. And they're trying to bridge to make sure that that Wildberry Punch is not left out there stranded. And Jawbreaker looking. Well, we got a collision over in the corner. Hard to see what was hard to see what had, had happened. It looks like that. Uh, it's gonna be vicious Van Gogo. And number thirteen hundred is gonna be Katarina Hit. It's actually, it's actually one of the better names. <laughs> And there goes Thunder Kitten for the Mad Rolling Dolls and number 13, Medusa for North Star. Medusa goes to the inside, finds a wide hole. She makes it through. That's what you got to see. You know, she stayed. She waited for it. It was open just enough for her to breeze through. Everybody was looking to the right, and she went to the left, and now she's lead jammer. Yeah, absolutely. The, it, jamming has got to be right. I can't even imagine. It's got to be so tough because it's, that, it, it's overcoming that need to want to race and trying to put the patience in it just like a running back has to. And Medusa with a nice jam. She's going to make it through. She's going to play it by the book. She's going to call that off, take the points that she gets. What would I say? There was like six or seven of, uh, of the original Mad Roland Dolls on uh, Wheelie. That, that was six. The, the third, that was number three or so. <laughs> Apparently, they're all on the travel team. Uh, actually, considering that she's been with the league for six seasons, although I believe she had two of them off uh, with pregnancy leaves, um, that happens. Is, yeah, yeah, it's in the water. Well, you know, Derby's not everyone's only hobby. <laughs> <laughs> you got to throw some other cardio in there every once in a while. Yes. God bless them. <laughs> Sugar love jamming for Madison. We're not careful. We might talk about some roller derby today. Yeah. Uh, I think we have. <laughs> and jamming for North Star is number eight. Kama, 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 kama. Yeah, I can't sing that song. No. Not without the short Coma Chameleon. <laughs> she breaks to the pack, ready to score. Sugar Love's already at the back, trying to get by number 824, Stalker Channing. I tell you, and there's where Sugar Lump, she's got this figure skating background. And she's got she's got that, that speedy step that you really like to see out of a out of a jammer. Except it's like you never really see it with her. It's like it's it she finds a wormhole inside <laughs> and she passes through. And right now it looks like Madison is on top, forty five over North Stars twelve, nineteen thirty three to go. We do want to thank our sponsors today. Actually more than today, yeah. North Central Regionals is brought to you by Fast Girl Skates. Some sell packages. They sell stuff that doesn't suck. That's Go to fastgirlskates.com and check it out. Right now, it's an uneven track. Madison, only one lady in the box, and Northstar has two down. The advantage here goes to Madison as number 27, none other than Wildberry Punch. That's true. She's your lead jammer. 
Closing closing in on behind her is number 13, Medusa, again jamming. Yeah, Medusa is one of those, she is one of those players that is now, you're, you're now starting to see more focus on. Uh, she was picked up by Team Awesome. She was at RollerCon, Dump Truck and I, talking about how we probably could have waved at each other from taxis. And I was coming <laughs> yeah. in and he was leaving. Uh, but I got to well, see... Well, that Bunny Ranch was nice, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, uh, I'm actually, I'm not sorry. <laughs> oh, oh, you said you wouldn't tell anybody. Yeah, I didn't. Uh, no details. Uh, they sell rabbits. Yeah. <laughs> All right, number 86, jamming for North Star. That is none other than Jawbreaker, and it looks like that is going to be Darling Nick. That's, of course, the truth. <laughs> Val Capone chiming in with her words of wisdom. Sorry. Sometimes yeah. some people think it's vomiting. No, it's <laughs> one of the most sexy burps you'll ever hear. And, of course, we want, we're want we glad that this broadcast is enshrined forever on DVD. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, unfortunately, for the purchasers, you get yeah. to hear us. Or have to. I don't know. It all depends on how you say it. Hey, Dad, rewind that. Play that belch again. <laughs> that was awesome. Lee Jammer goes to North Star. Getting some love there from none other than Clark Kent of Roller Derby himself, the Bam Bam. Bam Bam. Great move there. Jawbreaker gets to the back of the pack. Picks up a couple of extras is what it looked like. She calls off the jam real quick. The problem with Bam Bam is he's just got to, he's, he's got to ugly himself up a little bit. Yeah, you know, th- that's what after parties are for, really. Yeah, it never works. Uh, <laughs> not with his pretty no, face. No, no. It works with mine. I got a perfect, perfect face for radio. <laughs> <laughs> Hope everybody's enjoying what they're seeing. This is bought to, brought to you in part by Hinkley Design and Production. We appreciate everything they have done to bring this broadcast to you live here from Green Bay, Wisconsin. Without them, it wouldn't be going down. Yeah, Hinkley, uh, Hinkley's a terrific... Uh, Natalie Hinkley and her group is so terrific to work with. They did the uh, they did the, the Derby in Dairyland uh, when we hosted the East Regionals, and she uh, and her crew have been working at our bouts for a number of years now. Great hit there by number 77, Stink Girl That's on Madison, slowing things down a bit, but it wasn't enough. Stink Girl over Stink Twitch. <laughs> Katarina Hit gets through the pack. She's not your lead jammer. It looks like Mouse is going to pick that up, and she's going to call off the jab. You know what? Mouse is really, she's one of those few jammers that is still jamming after all this time. You know, I mean, Madison coming about... Um, Madison started to skate publicly. They were probably about the fourth or fifth league to start doing so. And I keep thinking about Mouse and um, Susie Hot Rod and the handful of people who are still jamming. And we, you know, we've seen so many of them transition to the pack and really kind of, really kind of stay there. And you know, how much do you have in those legs? Well, in those two examples right there, plenty. a lot, plenty. They're not slowing down anytime soon. No, it's Speaking tremendous. of such, there goes Vicious Van Gogh trying to make her way to the outside. She does get slowed down a bit. But Matt Rolandall's defensive head is really on. Vicious yep. Van Gogh gets to the pack. She's not going to be your lead jammer. Passing on the outside of the track. Yep. That was a good call. That was a very good call. These officials have been very good today. Medusa jamming for North Star. She gets through. She's lead jammer. She calls it off before any damage is done. And Vicious Van Gogo, ever so colorful. <laughs> I think that's how you interpret that. Yeah. Da, 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 da. <laughs> we also want to thank some of our other great sponsors. Five on Five Magazine is the official magazine of the Women's Flat Track Derby Association. And grab that. Right. It's the only place you can. It's the only official magazine of the Women's Flat Track Derby Association, and the only place where. I contribute an article once in a while that doesn't get rejected. Nice. <laughs> well, they'll pick up on that soon enough, I'm sure. Check them out at 515mag.com. And Radioactive, I heart your face. <laughs> I just always sign it, Justice. <laughs> and I take it. Jawbreaker back on the track of the jamming position for North Star. And out there right now, we've got Jules of Denial. And she's not going to be denied Lee Jammer, that is for sure. Uh, she is out in front and able to... Actually, this is a classic matchup right here. Two women that started skating probably within publicly within months of each other. Yeah. 
Jawbreaker, I believe, with a speed skating background. And Jules, I don't know that she... I think she was just a really good skater. I think her background is in awesomeness. Yeah, I think so, too. And charades. She is one of the... Well, actually, both of those... Both of those particular jammers, two of the few people that can go out there and jam amazingly well and mess you up. <laughs> i tell you one thing that's really impressive that I'm noticing is the Matt Rollendahls use their entire bench in the jammer slot. Yeah, they're, they're much deeper than they have been, and I think that's why you've seen more success. Part of the reason that you've seen more success out of them the last couple of years I mean, if my count is wrong, which is quite possible, there have been seven different jammers on the Mad Squad so far. But right now, we're going to talk about number 1,300, Katarina Hitch. She gets through. She's your lead jammer for North Star. Looking to make a move. North Star down 45 to 15. Matt Rolandall's poised for success. And if you're just tuning in and you're like, oh, look at that score, I'll tell you, from where we're sitting, you wouldn't think that it wasn't pretty much a one-point game. Right. We've had one really great jam for the Matt Roland Dolls where they gained a lot of momentum, yep. and that's where the real lead came from. But other than that, it's been pretty tight. Yes, very much so. Number 11 jamming again for Matt Roland Dolls, Thunder Kitten. And Go against number yep. 8, 24, Stalker, Stalker Channing. Stalker might just be one of the nicest people on the face of the earth. Really? Yeah. Well, she is. She is. She's just. She's one of those people you meet, and then every time you see her again, she's got a smile and a hug for her. It never forgets you. you got to love it. Or maybe, you know, I'd like to say it was just me, but I know I have a forgettable face. <laughs> you know, right? No, you don't. <laughs> it's scary. <laughs> right at the beginning of that jam, Mouse was caught in the middle of all the North Star Sea of Green, and she blew her way to the front to try and help out her teammates. But I tell you what, Soccer Channing, full of ability and support by her great yes. pack. She gets through. She's your lead jammer. Yeah, you're right. Actually, Mouse does a real, a real nice job of finding a little mouse hole. <laughs> uh, and it, the look on her face when she got there was like, because ah, she got out there, but it was like too late. Wow, great successful jam there for North Star. Looking to reset the track and get a little bit of momentum on their side, I think. And right now it looks like it's going to be 19 North Star, 45 Matt Roland Dolls. Matt Rowland, no score on that last jam. Well, and there's really no reason for them to change, it, you know, anything about what they were doing. Like you said, they pretty much were hurt by fouls and uh, just not being able to match up body for body out on the track. Because what they're doing is working. Most of these jams, they are either right in or neck and neck. We can probably isolate one or two and find out where the difference is in this next game. Oh, yeah, for sure. I agree with you completely. Right now, number 13 for North Star, Medusa jamming. And that's going to be Darling Nikki, number 14 for Dairyland Dolls. Medusa and, finding that inside line. Oh, I tell you, right there, North Star do a tremendous job of just absolutely dominating the front, running Nikki to the outside while opening the crease on the inside for their own jammer. Well, you really got to like to see this communication, this inaudible communication between, I believe that was Katarina Hit. And Camel Tony, <laughs> which is amazing. But they're doing a great job. They don't have to talk about where they're going to go next. There's a little slap on the hip. Hey, it's your time to move. They really have the communication down, and that can truly be key in the pack. Yeah, there's no question about that. And that, you know, really knowing uh, the Madison squads and the Madison team, I think communication is one of those things that they, they probably haven't focused on enough. I mean, I remember when I remember when teams used to skate and were loud, so loud you could hardly announce over the top. Oh of it. Yeah. yeah. Looks like we have sugar lumps from Madison and number forty, Crust Almighty for the Supernovas. That's uh, I think that's the first time I've actually encountered that. Crust Almighty, goodness gracious! <laughs> she goes to the outside, gets to the pack at turn three. She's your lead jammer, but now caught back behind. A whole gang of the Dairyland Dolls. Yep, and but she's finally broken free. But so is Sugar Lumps. One or two. <laughs> <laughs> One lump or two. <laughs> and um, Sugar Lumps closes it up. You know, and that's a, that's really another such an important tactic. If you could even call it that, it's not. It should be the foundation of your training. But if you, if you are behind and you can close that gap up and force them to call it off, you know, or potentially they call it off 
they, the, the lead jammer just kind of takes it lax, calls it off, and all of a sudden you slip by and you sneak in a, another point or two. I love that. Yeah. Sneaky is good. Well, we're going to thank a few more of our sponsors. Is your Derby League experiencing growing pains? Ouch. Ooh. Half Derby Will Travel can help. Get a free consultation at Half Derby Travel, Half Derby Will Travel. Dot com. Ooh. Hmm. We also have one of our favorite and original sponsors of the Derby News Network, Sin City Skates. The original Derby owned skate shop is also DNN's very first sponsor. Buy skates from a skater at SinCitySkates.com. And it should be of no surprise that they would be the first to step to the plate. Oh, yeah, for sure. And right now it looks like Ivana Spankin is here as basically a pit crew. Yeah. Sin City Skates providing their services if you have any equipment issues. Obviously, if you're listening uh, to this now, you mm-hmm. shouldn't be at the tournament. But uh, if you are, that's where you need to go. Something busts up. Yeah, and if you're listening to this later, you could totally misinterpret what he just said. And mm-hmm. Still give it some thought. Yeah, yeah, you know, let it sink in. Just drink it up. It's all by design, really. Number 1300 again, Katarina hit for North Star. And I believe that's Darling Nikki. Yep, and Darling Nikki that has stepped out. Darling Nikki is in her fifth season. She joined us in the second season. Um, she is a jammer a jammer pivot blocker. A re- uh, w- one of the best utility players Madison's really ever had. And, but it's going to be Katarina Hit who's going to get through it. She's going to get lead jam. And boy, it looks like she's going to go to the outside and make a full lap before the penalty clock starts. And that turns this into a power jam advantage. Dairyland Dolls. I yeah. like the play calling that you see there from number 14, Darling Nikki. She's communicating all right. She's like, hey, this is our time. Let's do this play that we've been practicing over and over again, and it works. She gets through. Grand Slam. Five points. Matt Roland Dolls. No, and, and actually, I'm glad to see that it worked. Like I said, uh, uh, having having had work through a number of signals and, and things like that, that was that didn't really work all that well for us last year. Um, communication much better this time around. Uh There goes Darling Nikki, going up against the last two of the North Star defenders, trying to break her way through. I tell you what, the, the pace of this pack has gone fast to slow to stop to fast. Uh, Matt Roland is looking like they're trying to get in their head simply by playing well. Yeah, it's been uh, speed differential. I mean, speed kills. Let's, let's just face it. Yeah. Uh, just speed differential but boy, kills. Boy, it gets you there everybody. quick, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's definitely a situation where they're using that appropriately. Malice is now going to go join Vicious Van Gogo in the penalty box. This power jam is about to come to a conclusion. Right before the jam clock expires. I like the little skip step with the shake and bake out there. That's right. It's shake and bake, not hail. (laughs) (laughs) That's right. No crumbs. (laughs) No crumbs. All meat, baby. Looks like our updated score with seven minutes to go is going to be 25 for North Star, 60 for the Mad Roland Dolls. And we got Sugar Lumps and Medusa, I believe, stepping up. But um, Medusa, part of uh, brought into Team Awesome to play Team Sexy, uh, an all male team, out at RollerCon this last summer. And I'll tell you, that might have been one of the most astounding bouts I ever watched in my life. And I saw Medusa out there taking on guys twice her size. Yeah. Uh, she's amazing. Great and move there by Sugar Lumps. <laughs> One lump or two, I'll take them all. <laughs> give me the whole bowl. It's Sugar Lumps. And you really got to give it to Jules of Denial and her squad of one fellow defender there. They're doing a great job. Number 311, bringing it tough, Chop Susie. Chop Susie. Smart play there. Really like what I'm seeing here from the Mad Roland Dolls. And for that matter, really like what I'm seeing from North Star. Yeah. With the exception of those couple of jams. I mean, yep. they've been in it. Yep. Neck absolutely. to neck, bone to bone. And when you take a look at, as we take a look at the point spread right now, it there's been very little change. So it's been, it's been nip and tuck for both of these teams. Boy, period one sure is flying by. It's five minutes and 49 seconds Get to go. Get out of here. <laughs> I believe this is an official timeout. It's true. And what does that mean? It means... It can only mean one thing. And that is that we're <laughs> going to plug Cruise Skate Shop. And I'm so, so excited for Motley Cruz. Uh, Derby owned in San Francisco. Now going to open a Sacramento location. Is there something else going on in Sacramento this year? 
Mm, I don't know. We'll get back to that later. I think there could be another <laughs> tournament. <laughs> Uh, and uh, but they're going to open on September 17th online. That is cruiseskateshop.com. That's C R U Z skateshop.com. And once again, glad to see the success that Molly's having out there. All right, looks like we're about ready to go again with the action here. Number 27 for the Mad Rolling Dolls, Wildberry Punch on the Jammer Line. Oh, and it is spiked. <laughs> And that was Dr. Channing, and that was uh, that was a false start. El Magnitudo. <laughs> yeah, that's, a, that's an immediate power jam. The advantage here for Madison, and they're taking advantage now as they have lead jammer status in their favor. And that's too bad. Soccer Channing, uh, she's a great player. She's also a very, very heads-up player. Uh, for whatever reason, just jumped on the first whistle that time. And um, obviously, had she caught herself quickly and turned around, they, they would have just given her a minor for it. But she was pretty much down the track. I don't know what the level of measurement is before it becomes a major, but I'm sure it was surpassed. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Obvious has struck again, yes. ladies and gentlemen. And while Barry Punch right now, just telling Ooh. her, kind of directing traffic a little bit there, doing a nice job of telling what they, she wanted for speed. They gave her that. However, number 99, still able. Ida killed her. I would have, too. <laughs> and uh, Ida killed her doing a nice job of just messing things up. Because sometimes you got to get somebody that's good at scrambling, and that's exactly what happened there. The exactly. gameplay was there, and you had one skater who, st who kept focus and who didn't, you know, look at the monkey, look at the monkey, and then get diverted. She just stayed focused, looked at what she needed to do, slowed her down enough to keep it effective. Well, yep, man. She she just knew she had to get her outside the track. That's exactly what she does. She's already back at the front of the pack, and she is Wildberry Punch looking to break on through. But again, this North Star offense and defensive squad—they really have their heads in this game. I'm very impressed yeah. by watching this league. Oh, this is this is a really a fun bout. And though Jim Morrison spoke about it, she was unable to do so, and that was break on through to the other side. <laughs> and Thunder Kitten, for the Mad Rolling Dolls, I believe is up against, is that, is that, is that Jobberry? I believe so, sir. It's the shiny lights off them numbers make them hard to read sometimes. That's right. Well, you were correct. That is Jawbreaker. She's at the back of the pack right now going to the outside. Oh, and Whoa. Thunderkin just getting pummeled and abused. She basically. did. Oh, my God. Yeah, but look at what happens when you do that and Vicious Van Gogh goes on the track. She's like, you know what? That's my girl. That's my jammer. I'm going to punish you, and now you're going to go sit in the box. Yeah, exactly. A little bit of a back block there, I believe. Yeah. Uh, but Thunder getting yeah, she's had taken two two previous seasons off uh, in her six year stint with Madison. Uh, but this is the first time she's ever been on the travel team, and she is our she's our actually our league record holder for a single season point. So it's really kind of interesting to see her acclimate herself to this environment. Well, it looks like Mad Rolling Dolls got a little distracted there as Jawbreaker moves to the inside, gets through, picks up four points. Just so you know, there is no lead jammer. It will go a full two minutes, and there's 53 seconds to go in this jam. Yeah, and the distraction is trying to get is trying to get Thunder Kitten through there. Right. I, I, North Star's just doing a nice job. <laughs> Given her, did you see that? She He's actually like, anticipated what? they hit that didn't come. Yeah. You know? I, She's like, you hit me there about the last four times. I won't fall for that again. Okay, I won't think. Right. <laughs> okay, I'm a liar. And Jawbreaker, of course, showing how it's <laughs> smiling through the whole thing. Jaw Jawbreaker showing how she's just going to stand up. Okay, you can give me these little taps out of bounds. I'm going to shoot through the inside. Goodbye. Yeah, she's a, what a great talent in Jawbreaker. Really awesome to see her on quads. Yeah, she's truly a utility skater by definition. If you want her to pivot, sure. You want her to jam, no problem. She will be better than most at any position you put her in. Yeah, and and, and a huge, huge pickup for the Minnesota, uh, Minnesota, Minnesota really? North Star. <laughs> she, she is one of the original Minnesota Roller Girls, and I'll tell you, if there is once in a while people change teams and you kind of feel the earth rumble, and yeah. you're like, 
You're like, like, ooh, pivotal move. It's like, what's going on? And uh, she skated for the very first time as a North Star against Madison outdoors in right field of a baseball park. Duck pond, is that yeah, what we're speaking yeah, of? Yeah, And I heard they were swimming and skating at the same time. Oh, that was completely the, soaking wet. No, that was the first time. Oh, that was? That was that was previously against the Minnesota... Oh, well, actually, it was Jawbreaker was there. It was against the Minnesota Roller Girls. But the first time it got it rained, yeah. The North Star came down, and they brought a little more sunshine. All right. Jamming for North Star is Katarina Hitt. Yeah, and Katarina hit caught at the back. In the meantime, Little Miss behaving for Mad Rolling Dolls, doing a nice job of kind of bobbing and weaving up to the front. And, oh, I'm sorry, that's Charlie Hustle. She dyed her hair. <laughs> that happens Did, in roller derby. Didn't, didn't even bother to contact me. Oh, <laughs> rude. I know. But yeah. she gets through in true form, and she's the lead jammer. I tell you, Charlie Hustle, not, uh, not only an excellent player, uh, and she, in her second season, she is truly one of the most fun people to watch out on the floor. She has a good time. When, when she plays league, she's just out there having a blast. And she's just and right now look at that game face she's got on her. Oh yeah, she's focused. She's ready to get into it. Looks like we have some minor penalties being assessed. Oh, look at you and the big words. You and your two syllables. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I've jumped My big words refrigerator. <laughs> It's got a silent Z. <laughs> it does. Remember that one time the fridge there wasn't caught lurking? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love the Mad Rolling fans out here. We had another group of Naptown, had a good group of fans out here. Now the the Moo crew that I have now just got <laughs> them. Nice. I think that could actually stick. It that could. Was, that was halfway closer to clever. Yeah, it was. They're out here with their cowbells and their bit shirts on. It's kind of wonderful. I'm a big fan. And we are now at halftime. 86 Matt Roland Dolls, 35 with North Star. Today's coverage is presented by Fast Girl Skates. You can check them out at fastgirlskates.com. Some people sell packages. They sell performance. And also brought to you by Hinkley Design and Production. Without them, this wouldn't be going down. My name is Dump Truck. My name is Bob Notch. Whether you like it or not, we'll be back in a few minutes. Lead Shower, Red City Roller Girl. Oh, <laughs> 
anybody sees Scott from PMI, can they send him up here to uh, announcer HQ? Because I'd love to pick his brain about a thing. Scott, where are you? And we are back. It's true. It is true. For all of those, uh, for all of those of you out there in the Webland, welcome back. And if you're watching this on DVD, you can just rewind it and watch this and listen to this over and over mm. and over. It's great whenever you're trying to go to sleep. It's amazing. <laughs> it sounds yeah. fabulous and it yeah. looks painful uh, or something. Looks like I'm having a fit. Well, one thing we do want to talk about is today's coverage is is also brought to you by. The Laid on the Track Boot Camp. Want to go. And the Skate 08 Tournament this January in Hawaii. Wanna of go. course you want to go. Want to go. What are you doing in January? Wouldn't you rather spend three days on Kauai? Yes. Learning from coaches like Rat City's Carmen Getsum and Wiley Peyote? Yes. Well, then, you need to visit LaidOnTheTrack.com for details. That's L-E-I-D. Um, okay. Just on like the right, track. Right. Dot com. Uh, okay. L-E-I-D. Okay. You got it? You ready? Oh, on the track. Yeah, because I typed in the, the wrong one first. <laughs> <laughs> That's a different site altogether. And after that, you can put your new skills to the test at the third annual Skate 08 tournament. You'll be teamed with derby girls from all over the world in a two-day tournament hosted by a Pacific Roller Derby. Now, they actually will yeah. pull your name out of a hat. You exactly. just get thrown into it. There's four different teams. It sounds like it's amazing. It's supposed to be one of the most fun times in roller derby. So go check it out. Visit PacificRollerDerby.com for more details. You know, uh, that, that's one of those deals where if you've ever coached before at all, you just would die for a moment like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Pick, me. It's, Pick uh, me. it's like Red Rover. Bring it. Let's do it. Who wants to play kickball? Exactly. Why am I last? Exactly. I was always last. It's what happens when you're short and chubby and lazy. <laughs> Today, I'm just two of those. <laughs> I'm six foot, so I can't really be short anymore. Uh, but I'm still chubby and pretty lazy. Uh, it's part of being safe. No, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Getting ready to get things started here in about 30 seconds. So far, Matt Rollendahl's doing a great job of staying on top with 86 points over North Star with 35. Yeah, absolutely. And and the one thing that we've talked about throughout this entire bout is where did all those points come from? Yeah. Because as we've been watching it, it's not about that f- that has felt one-sided at all. Um, but there's been a couple of... Uh, what it comes down to is Madison has capitalized on any mistake that the North Star's made. And um, and the North Stars not having been able to take it quite as quite as much advantage of some of those same mistakes that Madison has made. Yeah, another thing that has to do with it, I think I've been keeping uh, track of a lot of the jammer stats, and uh, there's eight different jammers that Madison has been using. So I mean, you're going to keep your best jammers fresh. But who, how do you determine who's the best jammer when you use that many? They're all very you know, effective. Uh, it's it's so amazing to me that you kept track of that, and you, and and you know, I know that. You can manipulate a pencil, and that you can actually write numbers down reasonably well. So I trust them yeah, to a certain looks like extent. Like a drunken chicken that just got <laughs> finished with an ink pad. So as we've got Medusa and Darling Nikki battling out there, but I am totally blown away at the fact that Madison would have eight people to jam. I, I totally believe you, but I'm like, we've never had a stable like that before. And that's that's great. What a great way to put it. Yeah, I like. Well, yeah, you're I like the stable. That's oh, good. Yeah, well, thank you. Mm. Uh, well. Oh, you know, got to have the horses. Yeah, you know, all the best teams have an extremely deep bench, and you'll see them use their skaters all over the place. And you're seeing some of that with North Star, especially with skaters like Jawbreaker, which we'll talk about more, I'm sure, throughout this weekend. But, you know, Matt Roland Dolls, I and mean, they're using that many different jammers. You know, in the games prior, you've seen other leagues do the same. And the best of the best use everyone in every slot. Yep. It's, it always pays to be able to skate every position. Yeah, I, yeah, I would I would agree that um, if nothing else, you should play two positions very well, and be serviceable when <laughs> when beckoned upon. Oh, and we're gonna see our first, and this is a controversy. I say poodle. 
All right, picking up the fourth penalty, fourth minor penalty. Number 13, Medusa, goes ahead and takes a seat real quick. That way she can be effective for her teammates, one of them jawbreaker in the jammer position. I just saw one of them there jammers take a poodle. That's right. And we got one or two sugar lumps. A perfect segue. <laughs> and sugar lumps again, coming off of her first season with the Mad Rolling Dolls, former figure skater, and in uh, residency as a as a general doctor. No general way, doctor. that's kind of yeah. awesome. That's kind of a, that's a big advantage to have on your squad. Yes, uh, and uh, she had teammates around her in the league that included a physical therapist and a Pilates instructor. So it was kind of like the whole team medical unit. Yeah, right. Are you in trouble? Call the Mad Rolling Dolls. <laughs> yeah. Well, I feel vixen. <laughs> Sugar Love's doing a great job in this jam so far. But more importantly, it looks like the Mad Rolling Dolls defensive squad is really starting to come in sync. You got Jules of Denial. You got number 33 for Madison. Charlie Hustle up front, holding it down. And then out of nowhere, Sugar Lumps is like, me, me, I'm coming right on through. Watch this. It's a grand slam for no, Madison. But did you see what she did? She kicked Charlie Hustle. Right in the tail. Sometimes it works that way. And and I think you know she obviously got she got called for a major on that. But I think Char. I don't know. It was one of those things where I think it was just like, okay, you got me. Yeah. Yeah. It was kind of like one of those Zing. fun things. Yeah. And Charlie's like, what the hell? All right now, Madison having a great time out there in this power jam, looking to take advantage, and there is a grand slam once again. Four, one or two, Sugar Lumps, and the Dairyland Doll. One or two. <laughs> that's going to be that. a jam. And boy, I tell you what, it's been, uh, that's a, a great jam. That, that's daunting. You know, That'll make you stutter when you don't need to. When we, <laughs> we get the instant replay button up here, that is when you want to see an instant slow-mo. I have never seen somebody literally kick somebody's ass. <laughs> and she just did. That was, you know, that was so throwback, I tell you. And this production of Ass Kicking is brought to you by Hinkley Design and Production. <laughs> exactly. You're welcome. Oh, uh, you know, once in a while we see something happen and it reminds us of the old days three years ago or whatever. <laughs> right. You know, because... You know, you know, I, I figure I'm about 110 in derby years, and you're probably at about 79. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and uh, But that is the first time I've ever seen that. I, th I do think it was fun, but it was hilarious. It was pretty funny. It'll make you giggle well, you on can the imagine, inside. You can imagine, you know, you're skating the way you're supposed to. You're looking to sit, put down a sit block at somebody, and you feel <laughs> somebody just kick you in the ass with a skate. Wow. Oh, that was... That was <laughs> Uh, it'd be interesting to to get a little follow up report on oh, what yeah. that was all about. There will be laughter involved during that. Yeah, story I I don't think there was I don't think there was anything but fun in that. Well, this official timeout's brought to you by Rockstar States. As it, well, they're gathering right now, looking at the rule book to find out exactly what the penalty should be for placing one skate in one's buttocks. Well, it depends on how many wheels you get in there. Well. <laughs> Rockstar Skate is Derby out in St. Louis. Get free shipping on any order over $50 this weekend. Use the coupon code DNN, also known as Derby News Network, at rockstarstates.com. Work it out. And right away, <laughs> we have Dump Truck going for the full effect. While Mal stands there awaiting an opponent. Wait for it. Wait for it. Aww. <laughs> oh, come on. This may take a while, but that's okay. We've got plenty of people to thank for their service. Derby for All. Derby owned in Minneapolis and ready to serve you online at derbyforall.com. That's the word derby, the number four, the word all, dot com. Now, I waited for it. Can I say it? Yes. Uh, she was ejected. Oh, that's not what you're telling me to wait for. <laughs> <laughs> no, Jawbreaker was just, she just rolled off the track. And I'm assuming that she was... You know, I'm assuming that that uh, a butt kicking is worth an ejection. Yeah, I would assume as such. But it, it didn't look like it hurt. <laughs> I've heard that before. <laughs> <laughs> and that's right. And because of Hinkley Designs, you're going to have this on DVD, so you can actually go back. 
That's right. And play that slow fold. <laughs> and you don't watch have to the count on YouTube anymore. <laughs> and see if it was like a, a malicious, you know, butt kicking or just a tap. You decide. That's right. You make the call. <laughs> well, that's going to be a big hit there for the North Star Roller Girls. We're still in the middle of this official timeout. That, that was a kick heard around the world. <laughs> Making taglines as we go. Yeah. Well, and, and you know, I, it's, I, I mean, it's funny, but now it's not. Because we're looking at a team that has got a, almost a complete second half ahead of them, and their best player just got sent off the track. Yeah, and it's 96, Matt Roland Dahl, 35, North Star, with 26 minutes to go. And that is a big, heavy hit there for the North Star Roller Girls. They really needed jawbreaker to be on the track but mistakes happen and that was no mistake right there mouse just jumped right on through she's a gap with no room to move between two skaters and north star oh, man I that tell was ya. impressive it, it's like she's done this before i think she has actually. once or twice but no yeah she had a little bit of daylight and i don't know i think i would start checking to make sure the you know the arms aren't all lubed up or, you know, <laughs> yeah whatever. right she squished right through there Boy, and she hasn't slowed down yet. She picks up a grand slam quick and in a hurry. She's also the lead jammer. Yeah, she did pick up a grand slam, and she's not quick and in a hurry. And, I mean, right now, I, you know, I think Matt Rolandall is doing the exact smart thing at this point. It's like, keep skating, don't overexert yourself. Work the clock. Yep. Keep a healthy pace. They're in a rhythm. They're going to stay in that rhythm as best as they can. And eat your vegetables. Uh, You know, broccoli is not your enemy. No, it is not. It's cauliflower you can't trust. Asparagus, too. (laughs) Any kind of vegetable that ends up on your ear, really, just, you can't trust it. We're in the middle of yet another timeout. North Star calling this one. Speaking and we're going to defer to 5 on 5 Magazine, the so. official magazine of the Women's Flat Track Derby Association. Tell me about Subscribe it. now okay. at 5 on 5 magcom I knew you'd I love you love me so much, I want to punch you in the throat. <laughs> <laughs> like a well, gentleman. I love you so much, I want you to punch me in the throat. See, and that's what makes us, well, more weird than most people. Yeah. Well, if anybody remembers anything from Four Corner Feed, <laughs> it was one of the most memorable webcasts ever done. I, you know, I really thought he could fly. <laughs> no, you don't know what that means. Uh, but we are in the middle of an official timeout now. Getting some clarif- clarification. I really, I really do enjoy seeing the official timeouts. They do eat up some time, but you want to see the right call being made. The officials are doing their best to make sure that it's not an educated guess, that it is a proper call, it's the correct call, so we well, can well, move yeah, forward. But- and you know, you're right, and I'm sorry to cut into this, but look, no, everybody's not. huddling now. <laughs> yeah, everybody's like, okay, we're going to take advantage oh, of this yeah? time. Well, you're going to huddle? You know, it's, it's like that. We are, too. <laughs> you, know, you can't just huddle just because you wear the stripes. Just because you look like an animal. Just because you are a, you know, i give got to give a shout-out to Johnny uh, Johnny Crass and Lulu Guru, who was with last week in, in Boy C. Love them. Boy C, thank you. Uh, if at least you said I, it I, don't right even wanna, I don't even want to go on that tangent. That was way too much fun. Let's just say Sput Town Knockdown next year. Anybody fighting for this my seat, my, the, you know, my seat at the table is going to have to fight. Well, yeah, I'm a little lazy for that, so I'm going to let you have it. Well, you know, at this point in time, you and I have called enough bouts that you're not going to wrestle over a chair all that often. No, we'll just but share that the was, same chair. Yeah. Hello. But uh, that that is a chair worth wrestling for. Did those girls put on a tournament? Oh, my goodness. And right now we do want to thank the Brew City Bruisers for putting on this tournament. Very gracious host. We appreciate all the work they've done. And they're not the only ones. I was talking to Grace Kelly earlier, who's responsible for a lot of the legwork that's gone on. And also part of the awesomeness of the Brew City Bruisers, because yeah. she is quite stellar at many things, including life. Yeah, but there's also Paper City. It it's true. I know. Paper City in the area. Uh, paper, you have pa- Paper Valley. Paper Valley. I'm sorry. That's okay. I'm it's not okay. from here. I know. That's okay. Paper Valley, and there's there's one more. It, was it uh, maybe the Fox City? Foxes, yes. The okay. Fox City Foxes. They've come through. Grace Kelly was like, make sure you give them some love, because we really appreciate the work that they've done. We can't do this alone. That's why we're not all from here. We come together to bring yeah. you the best roller derby that the North Central region has to offer. And if you continue to stay on DNN, we're going to bring it 
to you from all over the world and definitely all over this wonderful country. And right now we are literally across the street from Lambeau Field. I know it. As we see uh, Jules of Denial go slamming into the pack. Yeah, I thought she was going to get a back block out of that. Yeah, she was looking for lead jammer stats, so she could call it off real quick. But this is going to be a power jam advantage. North Star Villa Girl. And, you know, one thing I'll say about Jules is, is the Jules of past years has made some mistakes. That time, she just really got kind of sucked in and what was the slow pack. Yeah. Hit it hard, and there was no, no hole to go through there. <laughs> Norp. I love him <laughs> and his fabulous hat. And his good and plenty jammies. Yes, those are also pretty amazing. The live call has been really great here in Green Bay so far. And there's just, it's a star-studded cast of hooligans and idiots. And so far, I've really enjoyed hanging out with all of the fellow voices of reason. Oh, look at look at what they're going through trying to get, trying to get this jammer through the pack. It has been like pinball out there. And look at that. Immediately, the Dairyland Dolls. Take, taking advantage of the new backwards rule yes. and going back to the pack. I love that rule, by the way. Yeah. It makes it to where you can't just wait for a play like that to be over. You can destroy it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, you're right. It li they literally, it's like it, they morph the pack in, in order to take advantage of the situation. Power jams over. Jules and now back on the track looking to give a little jammer on jammer action again. Right now for Dairyland, it's clock time and pace. Yeah, and uh, I tell you, Jules out there very aggressively. I actually was starting to get a little concerned she might pick herself up a track cut on that. Besides, she's very happy. She gives herself a golf clap. <laughs> she'll give you it. She's she, pretty well. She'll give herself a golf clap. You know, she's not a golf clap kind of girl. No, 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 no not at all. <laughs> what was that, Jules? Come on, please. You know, a fist, a fist in the air, you know, a fist pump. An arm boner or something. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what it is. Ask Wicked Skatewear. <laughs> okay. Uh, goodness gracious. I tell you what. The first time I've ever heard those two words combined into a single sentence. Yeah, thank me later. Into a fray. 104, Matt Roland Dulles. 40 for North Star. 22 minutes, 45 seconds to go in the game. But, of course, we want to, you know, this is going to live on in infamy. We, you should have just used the word appendage instead. <laughs> Why designate a limb when you could just have picked appendage and covered them all? Imagination is a beautiful thing. And right now, I imagine North Star is feeling pretty good about this jam. Number 13 for North Star, Medusa. Yeah, Great skater this game. game. She's definitely one of the... Uh, cornerstones of North Star, in my opinion, doing a great Ooh, job. Nice Lead jammer status. Juking and jiving comes through. Keeps her head in the game. Calls off the jam after she picks up a few points. Two, to be exact. Yeah. The only thing I question really right now is where is the urgency? You know? I, I mean, we're talking... We're talking... We've got, we've got the time left to do it here. Yeah, they might be down by 60 points, but... They lost a lot of those in probably about three or four jams. It's time It's time to turn up the heat. They just lost their best player. And it's kind of like we're skating at a comfortable speed and calling off the jams early. Uh, I mean, at this point, take some chances. You, you know, pull out the stops. Yeah, you know, it's one of those times where you're in the second period. It's time to put your nose to it and just blow through it as best as you can. And may the toughest girl win. And right now it looks like Comma Chameleon's jamming for North Star with number eight. Oh, I didn't even see her. She blended in so well. That's right. She's already through that pack. And yeah. she's not going to be lead jammer. And so, so, so you know what? That means Back blocking. That, it means that mouse is going to make it through. And she is going to be your lead jammer. She's a skater I've been lucky enough to watch through the years. Alongside you, my friend. And it, it, it doesn't get any worse. It just gets better and better. Just like post lunch breath from Val Capone's burp. <laughs> oh, I thought it's you were like, like a fine wine. You know, no, there's a perfect segue. In that was a, a segue into something absolutely unnecessary. Yeah, uh, he just segued into another joke. That was awesome, dude. <laughs> we got Wildberry Punch stepping on, and Medusa is going to be back out on the track. You know that that's a good move. I think. I think North Star's smart. Keep Medusa out there. Apparently, she still has the wheels. She still has gas. And as we are, well, oh, so, so does Val Capone. <laughs> but. <laughs> You know, she, she's got it in her, and you have to have your best skaters out there in your time of need, and this is that time. Medusa goes to the outside. And, okay. And she's looking to get through the front of the pack. Well, and, and uh, Boy. actually a little bit surprised that uh, 
North Stars maybe didn't try to kind of wrangle somebody up. And Medusa going to work. Oh, look at the leverage that Chap Susie has on her. But she's going to end up hitting about 20 feet. She's outside the zone of engagement right now. Oh, wow. look at that. Look at that. What a great move by Wildberry Punch. And, and just barely gets by her. Yeah. Nice little hip move. Gets right around her. Yeah, we haven't seen Wildberry uh, Wild Punch. Easy for you to yeah, say. Yeah, I know. Jam, uh, Jam for a long, long time. She actually had a knee injury that had her sidelined for a better part of... of uh, the off season last year into the league season, uh, and when she came back in the league season, she was playing. Uh, uh, she was playing outside blocker and uh, playing it as a roving position, and was kicking tail. I mean, talk about just a force to be reckoned with. Uh, but had not jammed, and so I, this is the first time I've actually seen her jam in just about a year. Well, she did a great job of it the last jam. Right now for Madison is Jules of Denial, and again, Comic Chameleon for North Star Roller Girls. And there we have that. You know, that was the classic sit block right there. As vicious as the butt and the gut, you get the you get the butt right into the stomach of your opponent, and you can steer him right around the track. And if you're Beyonce, you just flick him off in the turn. <laughs> <laughs> well, what you a know? great point to it. No, I mean absolutely. You know, you got the strength, you got the power over your opponent. Use it to your advantage. Yeah. Goodbye. Wow. Oh! Now he tops giving a jump in turn four. Jules of Denial busting on through. You got to look for a little bit of uh, crowd pumping up there from Jules of Denial. She loves to do it, and she's showing you how to do it right now, getting that grand slam. That was impressive. Were we the only two people in the place that saw that? (laughs) You would have thought the place would have exploded. Not not the typical jump of the apex, but more of a skip across. The better part of the uh, inside portion of the last turn here. Jules of Nile already in the front of the pack on the inside. She sees the hits coming from North Star's defensive squad, and she's bracing herself for them while the Mad Rollin' Dolls are, quote-unquote, trapping the goat. <laughs> Not to be confused with me. Jules of Nile already through, picks up another five points. Yeah, I'll tell you what, that is one tough woman. Oh, yeah. And you know what? Absolutely. I mean, when you talk about Mad Roland Dahl's history and you think of the word uh, intimidation, it is her. Oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, she is the definition of intimidation. When people come in as as fresh or fresh meat or rookies, whatever you want to call them, I mean, that is the person they don't want to be lined up against. Yeah. And they and you know what? She takes them down every time. She it's loves kinda, it. Yeah, well, it's welcome to roller derby. <laughs> yeah, I don't care if you're new. <laughs> you know, you're not now. Uh, you know, no, exactly. Break in quick. You know, it, I don't even think she'd care if it was on her own. If it was somebody drafted for her own team, you know. It's kind of like you gotta you gotta feel the pain and uh, welcome to roller derby. You took your first fall, you survived, and you know what? And we'll see you next Great. time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> One nineteen, Mad Roland Dolls. Forty two, North Star. We've got about seventeen minutes to go, and it is a timeout. And who was that brought to us by? Oh, that's brought to us by the officials, but it gives us some time to say. <laughs> to say, if you have Derby League growing pains, Ouch. then you just need to check out Have Derby Travel. HaveDerbyWillTravel.com. Goodness gracious. Get a free consultation at the website. Have Derby Will Travel can help. And here we have, you know, again, here we, we come off the line and we're playing defensive jamming. And right now they need to score worse than a 17 year old on prom night for Christ's sake. <laughs> Miles jamming for the Mad Roland Dolls already at the front, but you have number 48 and number 40 for the Supernovas, Krusty Almighty and Kay Zilla doing a great job containing Mouse right now. She's getting some yeah. help there. Uh, you, you know, this game is not yet decided, but it's getting pretty close. And regardless of what the outcome is or how big the deficit is for for uh, the uh, North Star, it, it just, this is a team that is going to put it together probably in the next bout and, um, you know, still be in this thing. Well, whoever uh, loses this game will be bouting against arch rival later yep. on this weekend. And uh, we saw an interesting bout here this morning with our rival as you're watching... Uh, Mouse out there uh, eating up the open space. But uh, our tribal getting shellacked 
by Naptown in the first half, and then closing that gap to uh, what they they must have been down by about seventy, closing that gap to within about twenty or thirty points in yeah. the second half. So it's going to be really interesting. And Naptown actually showing us that if they can if they continue the butt whooping, you know, if they can lay out a full game like that. That uh, Windy City does not have an easy road no, to number don't. nine. That was a very impressive game to watch earlier today against Arch Rival. Their pack play was great. Their defense was great. They had no problem scoring. They have the pivots in the right places. You going against yeah. a team like Windy a City front with a stripe really, on there. Oh yeah, that's, that's the one good place. For. That's a good place for. Her. Well, actually, Nap Town they tend to hunt down the jammer. They don't just stay up front of yeah, the Yeah, that's actually a good point. Um, a little reminiscent of some of what uh, you saw back in DRD a couple of year, years, about a year and a half ago. Yep. Hunt them down, make them pay. Well, it, it's it's almost like it's almost like that scramble to the football kind of mentality. Right. Everybody needs some contact. But yeah, the Windy City Natown game is going to be one definitely worthy of watching. I know the call is going to be amazing. The Val Capone is going to be on the call. I'll be okay. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think she's done this once or twice. Uh, I've heard of her. <laughs> <laughs> no, that is that's going to be a great game. And uh, yeah, don't take a look at the don't take a look at the bracket and go, well, "What do I want to watch number one against number nine for?" Watch it and why, see yeah. why you want to watch it. Just watch it. It, it. it could be a very impressive game. It could be one of the most surprisingly tight games of the day. <clears throat> and right now we see Stalker Channing out there once again for. The North Star and jamming for Matt Roland. We've got Chop Susie, and this is one of. She might be. Is she number nine? Is she that ninth person jamming? Could it be? Could it be? Could it be? Three, one, one. I believe so. Yes, she is the ninth person. I was going to say I've not seen her out there jamming. Uh, she's she she can be an incredibly effective jammer. She's a she's a terrific utility player. Uh, does a lot of blocking and an incredible pivot. And when she jams, I tell you, when she's in the zone and you jam her, she puts up big points. Boy, she's doing it right here. Oh, she goes to the nice outside, move. doesn't slow down at all nice. in turn four, calls off the jam, picking up four more points. I would say that she was the first. Uh, re- she was the first true athlete to come to uh, Madison, as she had uh, been. Um, she had specialized in martial arts for many years, and uh, but when she came to us. Uh, in her, uh, we were in our second, I think, our second season. We were like, "Wow, that's an athlete!" <laughs> <laughs> yep, they didn't have to turn her into one; she already was one. They just had to turn her into a different kind of athlete. You know, an athlete's really adapted to sport like no other. They're already physically there. They know the dedication. They know the work ethic. All they need to do is be trained with a skill set. When you have Figure skaters, hockey players, speed skaters, jam skaters. Yeah, Joe, jam skaters. That's where you get that skill set from. And they have the drive, and they will be good. Yep. Well, and they understand the team environment, too. Um, you know, it's one thing. And, of course, the terrific thing about roller derby, and, and our favorite stories are the people who couldn't even stand on skates and then have gone on to skate in tournaments such as this. Yes. You know, I mean, there's no question about that. I, I, people like Dolly Pardon Me for Madison, who... You know, one of one of the, one of the best stories that I've ever seen. Um, but one of uh, the sweetest people you'll ever meet. Yes, yes, absolutely. And um, but you know, as we progress, it becomes natural that you're going to pull more and more ath- athletes. But I think I think it brings a real nice it brings a real nice blend to it, a nice mix to it. Um, but you know, hopefully we don't get to the day where we the the girl who's got all that potential in her but just really needs to know how to skate yeah. is turned away. But we have outlets for that. Right now, it looks like Chop Susie's going to be going to the penalty box. No, that's actually Charlie Hustle. Charlie Hustle, I'm sorry. Hustle. Hustle. Why did the silent Z? It's the different threes. Charlie Hustle. A rose is a rose is a rose, unless it's Charlie Hustle. This is a power jam for North Star. North Star kind of splitting the pack up a little bit. In the rear part, you have the quad of green, and up front, you have the Matt well, Rollendahl's trio. Again, I ask, where's the urgency here? Well, yeah, we do have 11 minutes to go. It's 136, Matt Roland, 49, North Star. But seriously, wouldn't, you know, you would think that, boom, rocket time. You know, or, you know, or maybe, unless they've just decided it's too far out of reach, that they don't want to spend, that could be too, that you don't want to spend 
every bit of energy you have left in your best players. One thing I do know is that if you're going to buy skates, you should probably buy them from a skater. If you go to SinCitySkates.com, that's where you can do it. The original Derby Owned Skate Shop is also DNN's very first sponsor. They're at every event worth being at, which is basically all of them. And they're there for a reason. They have great people, great knowledge of equipment, and, and great equipment for purchase. And the best closer in the world, Trisha Dish. Yeah. Well. So she says, you put those skates on. I tell you, sir, you get them, you get them laced up in a hurry. <laughs> I love Trish. I do, too. I've had a great time hanging out with both Ivana and oh, Trish, yeah. two of the heads oh, of Sin yeah. City Skates, down at the Battle of the Bank. Uh, at roller I'm con. so so mad at myself that I I couldn't make that. Yeah, you're fired. Well, actually, I'm not mad at myself. I'm mad at all the factors surrounding myself <laughs> at that time, starting with birth. Anyways, we are an official timeout. We do want to thank Clark Kent himself, Bam Bam, for staying beautiful and giving us great scenery right in front. That's right. He's We're, a beautiful man, even in a hazmat suit. He, even. He, <laughs> I was going to make a joke about oh, that. really? Yeah, you're a jerk. Uh, no, All right. No. We do want to thank Derby Owned you Crew. The, you, you are the brother I never wanted. <laughs> yeah. I'll give you a noogie later. Derby Owned Crew Skate Shop in San Francisco. Their new Sacramento location opens up September 17th. Check it out when you're at the Western Regional Tournament later on this year. It will be brought to you by DNN. Online at CruzSkateShop.com. That's C R U Z. Skateshop.com uh, In unison for your listening yeah, that's pleasure right. And I know Motley And once again I just want to say congratulations I'm so happy for her that things worked out so well For her in San Francisco Another store, that's got to be exciting And Apparently they brought the accountants into this I think there's three points. I think. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> I'm not much of a thinker, but I can read pretty decent for a redneck. And Dr. Hauschka Skin, a great sponsor, and with WFTDA's official bruise healer, Lose the Bruise, with Dr. Hauschka's Ouch Aid. If you don't know about it, you better figure it out. It's kind of amazing. They're actually giving away samples, and it's a packet that helps your bruises heal, which apparently in roller derby, you get those every once in yeah, a while. Yeah, that's what I've heard. That's what <laughs> I've heard. Al Capone's the only one that doesn't. <laughs> yeah, Val, Val gets bruises. See, when she gets bruises, it's late in the healing process because everything else is healed. <laughs> I, you know, it's not even it's not even fun for me to ever oh, call. Queefer Sutherland, Andrew, twenty four. Where is yeah. she? Queefer. She oh, she's You're on just... the broadcast. Oh. Hi. Oh yeah, I love, love that. Keeper. Congrats on WFTD. And we Action love the Robin. outfit. Woo woo! And we love the outfit. And this woo woo was brought to you by Val Capone. And, and we want to say we want to say Val, come on, we want to we want to just send out kisses and hugs to Lola Blow. Oh, and Lola tell Blow, her I love her more fast. than I know. Just eat your tofu and spinach and get strong. But also go to www.uproaronthelakeshore.com to check out the WFTDA championships that will be hosted by the Windy City Rollers. Which Chicago outfit will be at to help us out? We love you, outfit. Congrats on being WFTDA. Absolutely, that's kind of amazing. I tell you, this, honestly, the outfit to me is one of the most exciting teams to watch play that you could that you can see right now. All right, on. We'll stay tuned. They'll be around. Uh, they'll Just be here getting, next year. Yeah, they will be here next year. Right now, Northstar does have lead jammer status. It is a power jam, and that is going to be Tara Bitchapart, one of my favorite names to say this weekend. Going through and actually doing a great job being a very successful jammer thus far. Considering she was the only one put out onto the track. It's true. Uh, it she just picked like up a grand slam and she is shortly followed by Charlie Hustle. That's right. Charlie Hustle. Charlie Hustle. Yeah. Like I said, Charlie just really... You just love it when people come in and they contribute... They contribute to the business side of things, and they skate hard, and they do well. They're good teammates, and then they're just fun as hell to be around. Oh yeah, and that's that's the embodiment of Miss Hustle. We do have a few other sponsors we want to thank. We want to thank Crolls West, the Cadillac of Char Girl Grilled Burgers. It's not one thing; it's everything. And if you're around in this area, you need to check them out. They're open to 1 a.m. on Friday and Saturday night, midnight on Sunday, located on the west side of Lambeau Field. 
That's right. They'll open the doors for you. You can just walk right through. So we got this big patch of land in the way. <laughs> and Medusa is your lead jammer. And again, uh, everything kind of gives me the look that maybe we're going to... Unless her stride is just that uh, that smooth, but I just... I, j I get the feeling we're saving it for the next time. Yes, sir. You know, that may not be a bad move. Matt Roland also had a, had a great game, and so has North Star. Uh, the real difference was made whenever Jawbreak was uh, given the boot after given the boot. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Yeah, uh, the dolls the dolls have obvious, obviously dominated the scoreboard, but they didn't appear to be dominating the track until Jawbreaker was gone because it it, it turned it turned the entire morale of the team or or strategy or whatever it is that that they have done because, um, like I said, they it appears to me that I was surprised that with 26 minutes left and down what 50 points or whatever it was, it, it kind of looked like they were poisoning themselves to save. Save it up. Right now we are at a timeout in North Star. We do want to thank Rydell Skates. Rydell, the official skate of the Women's Flat Track Derby Association. Stop by the Rydell booth to check out derby skates at all of our tournaments. Make the extreme condition, conditioned skates for roller derby. Figure that out. Yeah, well, you know, if you're going to be in extreme conditions and you're going to sell stuff for roller derby and you're talking about extreme conditions, you might as well do it at Funda. On the tundra, work it out right across the street <laughs> from Lumbo Field. I love Ride Out. You know, uh, at RollerCon, I was uh, lucky enough to be able to to host the Ride Out Skates meet and greet, and that whole company is full of great yeah, people. Yeah, it really, have it a really great is. time. It really is. And uh, I can't wait to uh, work with them in the future and try and make some more interactively successful events. Yeah. And then they're just, they're wonderful. They're a great contributor to the sport, and they're a great addition to the family in roller derby. Yeah, I, uh, having vended with them many, many times, uh, it was, it, you, can, you come across a lot of the same people, and uh, yeah, those guys are always a blast. All right, the pack has picked up some pace. Yeah, now we see a little urg urgency as we got it, Coma Chameleon out there. And we're going to see Sugar Lumps out there again. And uh, we're going to ride shotgun with somebody. I would say Jules of Denial is a pretty good person to ride it. Yeah, that, that's a piggyback that becomes a very successful three legged race all at the same time. Yeah, I have sure no idea what that sense, means, but, but that was beautiful. <laughs> I think. <laughs> I've been saving that one all morning. I, uh, I didn't even know it. Uh, <laughs> Lee Jammer is held by one or two Sugar Lumps. Wait a second. You said the same thing about your brand, Muffin. Mm, yeah. Well, that one's been talking back all day long. Sugar Lumps looking to go right through the middle. Takes advantage of number 48, taking a knee. Kate yeah. Zilla, and she busts right on through. Oh, That's man. A grand slam. Whoa, I tell you, that? I don't know, but Jules of Denial was, you don't see that very often. Yeah, she but, doesn't take a seat unless she's tired. Yeah, I'll just say that I think she was given a seat. <laughs> she just yeah, uh, she, she went hunting just yeah. then. She came over and turned three and was like, so, number 40, how's it going? Crust Almighty is what you'll be screaming here in just a moment. Well, yeah. Wow. Because uh, I really question the authenticity of that purse that you put on me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, I will say that it looked like there was a lot of force in that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, you know, to give is, you know, you give and you have to receive. And Jules has given plenty of those out. Oh, yeah. You know, Adam Wheels is a great sponsor. They're the official wheel of the Women's Flat Track Derby Association. Go to the Adam's Wheels booth at all the tournaments and check out the all-new Juke.0. Oh. Better roll, better grip, second to none. That's right. Make them the nucleus of your skating gear. Look at you and your science I know. I'm hoping they'll pick that up. I'm going to charge them. We also want to thank Derby Skins. No one enjoys Derby Skins more like, than I do. No, I do. Uh, no, no. No, I do. Uh, unless you no. have a lot of photos of the retarded stuff that they have me wear on a regular basis, which makes me feel better about myself. I enjoy them. The oh. shorts I was wearing in Australia made it on Australian national news, which I don't know if that's good or bad or what it speaks of the Australians. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, it must have been a slow day. Yeah. <laughs> but they're great. The, the sweetest people on the planet. They've got the, the great Derby Skins for all your needs. If you're a guy, they even have some built for luggage. So go check out DerbySkins.com. They'll love you for it. That one actually, it took me a moment. I'm so disappointed in myself. They're dump truck tested, dump truck approved. Oh, 
I don't have a gold a pair of gold lame ones uh, made for myself actually. Nice. Yeah, I know. I bet those smell wonderful. Back on the track, it looks like the Mad Roland Dolls number 21. I just go slip slide. The ninja. She is Lee Jammer. Unless he's pointing at someone else. Yes, he is. Unless he's not pointing at that person. No, it's Wild Bear Punch and from the Mad Roland Dolls. Yeah, and that's who he's pointing at. It was a really fast jam. I mean, the pace was way up there, especially with only 44 minutes and 55 seconds to go. Yeah, that was almost like a pace line drill right there. Yeah. 147, Matt Roland Dahl's North Star 63, just under five minutes to go. We do want to continue to thank our sponsors that take care of us. Colorbox Body Piercing, they're the best at what they do because it's the only thing they do. That's right. If you're at home, don't do it yourself. Don't get out a nail yeah. gun. Safety Go to pins are overrated, and That's they right. hurt a lot. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Why do I have a feeling you know that for real? Well, high school was an adventurous period in my life. <laughs> Too bad I never really made it there. <laughs> All right, Jamie. The best two years of your life. Yeah, it was the best six years of my life, my high school yeah. experience. Uh, Number 13, Medusa. On the track for the Supernovas in the jammer position. Oh, cool. a nice, nice hit right there again by Jules. And 311, Chop Susie from Madison. Jules is in denial. I think she really, really does enjoy knocking the snot out of her uh, cohort there. Well, and I think, I think she was poised to potentially hang up the skates after this season. And... Um, I don't know if that's held. I haven't heard the final decision on that. It's a pretty tough thing to walk away from, especially when the when the uh, league and the and the uh, travel team have, are having the kind of success that they've had. The well, you know, they, they've always they've always been a, they've always been an upper tier program, and uh, so she's been able to participate in a lot of the, in a lot more travel than a lot of people have probably seen. A lot more tournament play. And that's kind of hard to just give up that whole chunk of your life. Yeah. You know, one thing we do need to recognize is Frozen Codebase. If you have not heard yet, there is a video game coming out called Jam City Roller Girls. Absolutely. Coming out by Frozen Codebase. Have you been able to play that game yet? Um, I've I've been able to uh, witness it being played. I got to see Susie Hot Rod playing the role of Susie Hot Rod. Isn't that that was awesome? Cool. It's yeah. so cool. The guys are great. I actually went over to the Frozen Codebase uh, headquarters along with Hurt Reynolds when we got in town yesterday. Got to demo the game. I'm not sure all the tournaments they're going to be making, but if they show up to a tournament and you see their booth, make sure you go by and try the game. It's really cool. It's a lot of fun. And your friends are in a video game. Come on. You have to support it. Yeah. You hear a voice, but you know it's either me or Dump Truck, really. <laughs> um, and it appears that uh, Dr. Channing was set out on a multiplayer block, and we see Thunder Kitten kind of go down awkwardly there. I think she actually just kind of tangled skates with her own player. Mouse gets through the pack. She picks up a Grand Slam on the way. And there we have the kind of slower but dramatic raise of the roof. Five-point pump. Boy, I tell you, the Mad Roland Dolls, they're not letting up at all. They're here to skate, jam to jam. They're not going to stop until the clock hits zero. And there's under two minutes to go in this period now. And just about 30 seconds left to go in this jam, so we will definitely have another jam following this. And let's see. Okay. Mouse going to the outside, getting some help there from Darling Nikki. Yeah, Nikki, very smart. Probably one of the most intelligent players to have played in Madison. She's really got leverage figured out. She did it yeah. in the first period. I'm and you glad spoke you noticed of that. Yeah. And right now, I mean, the, she'll not only hit you, she'll definitely hit you. But if she can really get that position and be poised to just yeah. push you out using your own weight and momentum, yep. Yep. then you're just out. I mean, it's yeah. physics. Yeah, absolutely. You didn't know I knew that word, uh, did no, you? I, no, I didn't know. I I don't know. Maybe I thought you might have. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't think you'd pronounce it right, but maybe you heard of it. <laughs> we got Sugar Lump stepping up, and it's going to be Medusa one more time. And the crowd yelling, Medusa. Yeah. The Medusa chant starts, or maybe they're just yelling Bob. I'm not sure. You know, they do sound similar. Yeah, they do. In a wind tunnel. They're not mooing. They're yelling Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Medusa breaks through the pack, as she has done many a time today. She's going to be lead jammer, and right on her heels is one or two sugar lumps. Yeah, exactly. 
And a timeout. Timeout being called by North Star. Right now it looks like 162, Matt Rolandall, 63, well, North Star. And I think it's, you know, so you can get that next, get that one more jam yeah, in there. Yeah, you want to get one more jam in there. North Star is not afraid to continue to play. They're, they're having a good time out there. And you know Either what? Either that or somebody believes it's mathematically possible to hmm. have a 100-point jam. <laughs> <laughs> we do want to thank some more of our sponsors. Dr. Hushka, the WFTDA's official bruise healer, lose the bruise with Dr. Hushka's ouch aid. Well, I think it's pretty safe to predict how this one's going to go. Mm. Uh, and, but you know, the one thing—the one thing again that comes out of this is that they're, they're going to continue through. And you know what? Somebody's if somebody's going to get into that three-four match, and it could very well—it could very well be a team like this. Because well, it looks like the Mad Rolling Dolls are going to be uh, playing against whoever wins between Detroit and Minnesota. And that's going to be tomorrow. And it looks like North Star is going to be playing, wait for it, <laughs> Arch Rival first thing tomorrow morning. Yeah, and uh, you want to hang in there because we're going to see, is that next? So we've got Naptown in uh, Windy City? Well, yeah, what we have next is Naptown, Windy City. We got a couple of great announcers on the call, in my opinion, and some people say it doesn't matter, but I usually ignore them. It's going to yeah. be none other than Val Capone and also Danny Mack, new to the DNN call. Very talented guy. Listen up for that. It's going to be a great game. Keep watching. We want to thank Derby News Network and all his viewers and supporters, Hinkley Design and Production.